Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release, 2020 Topps Archives Signature Series Baseball Retired Player Edition, random player break number six. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. So one spot gets you seven players. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's multiply that list by seven. Should be 105 items on each list. Let's roll and randomize both lists a hard six, three and a three. One. After six, we got TJ down to other TJ, TJP. Two TJs in this break. All right. Six here. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time. After six, we've got Eric Chavez all the way down to Barry Larkin. So per usual, obviously... Throat's kind of killing me here. I'm not going to read off all these names. That's just crazy talk. I've got to preserve this golden voice for the rest of the week. But I will show you the list as is, and then I'm going to alphabetize them by your first names. So this is mostly just to get this on the recording so everyone can see that the Google Documents alphabetizing machine did not do something goofy. All right, now let's sort by column A by your first name. So Barry, there are your players right there. Dan, there are a group of players. Daniel, Ed, Joe, Matt Medlin has a good group of players here. And then a few more right here. Volleyball Nancy, there's Nance. Last spot Mojo. Sam. TJP, a couple more for TJP, and last but not least, TJ. Kofax. All right, any trades or anyone need to see their players again? Remember, this is the second half of the case that we popped open, so remember I marked those with the, uh, with the Sharpie so you know they're from the same case. that cardboard dust off the table here. No, we, we don't really do uh, card submissions for grading. Unless it's like, if, if someone, if we pull like a Zion one of one or something like that out of prison basketball and someone's like, hey, can you, and we'd be like, yeah, of course. But no, generally no. That's like a whole other, I feel like it's a whole other job just to keep track of all of that. We're not at that level yet. We thought we were. We thought it could be a little bit easier, but, you know. All right, looks like no trades. No one else needs to see the list. TWC, trade window closed. Let's rock and roll. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. So obviously all retired players. We've got Kerry Wood, 57 out of 81. Kerry Wood ended up on the Yankees? I do not remember that at all. I don't even remember the Indians' Kerry Wood. Sorry, hold on. A lot of blasts from the past here, so you end up kind of deep diving a little bit. Yeah, he was with the Cubs, Indians, Yankees for like half a season, and then back with the Cubs for a couple more years. Huh. With the Yankees, he went 2-0 and with a 0 0.69 ERA in 24 games including 21 straight scoreless appearances, served as a bridge to Mariano Rivera in the 2010 postseason. In the 2010 postseason, Wood had a 2-2-5 ERA appearing in seven games overall. They won the 2010 ALDS against the Twins in three games, but lost to the Rangers in six games in the 2010 ALCS. Huh. I had no idea. 
All right. Learning. Knowledge. Let me alphabetize by player name so I can find these guys. All right. So Carrie Wood goes to Daniel Nelson. There you go, Daniel. We've got Bronson Arroyo, 56 out of 58, who I learned today has a, uh, a rock and roll band. Still tours. Matt Medlin with Reds, former Reds pitcher Bronson Arroyo. We've got Jeff Cirillo, 8 out of 33. That's the, that's the edition of Jeff Cirillo that I'm most familiar with. Jeff Cirillo, Nancy. With the Jerry Remy, Jeff Cirillo spot. We've got Jim Abbott. Nice. 10 out of 99. It's like a early 90s set maybe. Jim Abbott, Barry Roberts with Jim Abbott. Watch if, you, if you're uh, not familiar with Jim Abbott, look up some videos of him. Pretty, pretty great. And the way, the, 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 his whole pitching motion, switching the gloves is pretty amazing. All right, there's Vern Law, 79 out of 99. I don't remember Vern Law. I have no stories about Vern Law. Uh, that goes to Barry Roberts with a Tony Perez-Vern Law combo. Law, 90 years old. Well, I guess he had a coaching career, more of a yeah, Pirates pitching coach for a bit, assistant baseball coach at BYU, pitching coach in Japan, Pacific Coast League for a little bit. All right. We've got Hit Parade, Andres Galarraga, the big cat. One of one. Giants edition. That's Dan Tyson with Andres Galarraga. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Maybe that's why my. Too many train whistles today. Maybe that's why the voice is gone. On a Wednesday. All right, we got Jim Rice, 33 out of 40. Jim Rice, let's see who has to go to the Jays. Sam, Sam Keys with Jim Rice. Nice. Three more to go. Good luck, everybody. We got Jay Buner, 22 out of 42. Nice, Jay Buner. Still in the J. A lot of J's. That goes to TJ Poyer with Jay Buner. Ryan Howard, one of one. Nice. If things went a little differently here and there, do you think Ryan Howard could have been a borderline Hall of Famer? I feel a little more Nancy with the uh, with the Ryan Howard. 
All aboard! Woo -woo. I mean, there were some seasons that he was just destroying. But then, like, injuries, I think, got in the way, and then just wasn't as consistent after that. And maybe maybe his game didn't adjust. To, to, but, man, yeah, he, his first se full season, rookie of the year, his second season, 58 home runs, first in MVP voting, second year, or third year, fifth in MVP voting, the year after that, second in MVP voting. Who did he lose to? Uh, the next year after that, third in MVP voting. The next year after that, 10th and 10th again. Two top 10s in MVP voting. And then he was 31 and then, yeah, injury. 71 games the next year, 80 games the next year. And by the time he played another full season at 34, yeah, he was just he was hitting 223, 18, uh, 23 home runs, you know, which is not a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, the eight, there was an ACL tear. Yeah, it just wasn't the same. Just wasn't the same. But I feel like, I feel like there could have. He's he maybe he had to cut down on the strikeouts, just a little bit. But I mean, I think in this modern, <laughs> in modern baseball, it might have actually worked to his advantage if he was able to take advantage of all the exit velo line. If he had all that data and stuff too, if he was healthy, I don't know. There, I think there could have been a chance. All right, and the last one is Maury Wills. One out of 36, nice. Yeah, great, great. Long time Dodger still, uh, base coach. And then uh, and then as, as he got older, was still like a special base running coach during spring training. TJ Poyer with that one. And there you have it. Another nice archives break in the books. I'm sure we'll do some more tomorrow. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.